Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see procurement in chemical industry, chemical industry, pharma industry, particularly in pharma industry. So how we procure in SAP MM in pharma industry. Okay. Let's see what are the products they may buy, they may procure, the, or they may purchase in pharma, pharma, pharma industry. Okay. Pharma materials like sodium chloride, phloxin, and nitrate. Only three materials. I'm going to show you only three. There are thousands and thousands of metal. Out of that, only three metal I'm going to show you. Okay. Now, what is the process? The same only. What is the position? I'm going to before that, I'm going to create a material for all these three: sodium chloride, phloxin, and nitrate. And I'm going to create a purchase position, purchase order, goods reserve. In I'm going to check the inventory and finally invoice verification. Okay. Let's go to the system now. Let me create a material. MM0. MM0. Raw material. What is that? Raw material. Raw material. Basic data one, basic data two, purchasing, MRP. Scroll down. General plan data one, general plan data, storage two, general plan data, storage one, general plan data, storage two, and accounting. Let's click on to default settings and organizational levels. Let's click organizational levels. Here I'm going to select LD03. It's my plan. Storage location is also LD03. Continue. Continue. First one is nitrate. Nitrate. Let's copy it from here. Nitrate. Okay, base unit of measure is kg. I'm going to buy it in kg. Select material group. No MR, ND. No MR. Not going to use MR. Valuation class is 3000. 3000. Six zero six zero six one zero. I'm going to copy it from here. Six zero six one zero. Copy. Press enter. Automation levels LD zero one, LD zero one, LD zero one, LD zero three, LD zero three. Okay, continue. This time it's going to be. Floxin. 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 Same only. Six zero six double one. Six zero six double one. Another one more I'm going to create. That is sodium chloride. Create sodium chloride. Organization levels LD03, 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 LD03. Plant and storage. Sodium chloride, sodium, sodium chloride. Everything same only. 60, 60, 612. Now let me create a purchase requisition. Slash and me 51 yen. Purchase requisition. Either of all document. It's a requisition document. Okay. Now 60610. Press enter. Quantity 10 kgs. 10 kgs. LD03. It's my plan. Storage location LD03. Valuation price is dummy price. Storage location. LD03. Next, 60611. This time it's going to be 15 kgs. Plant is LD03. Storage location is also LD03. LD03. Next, 
Next material. 60612. Quantity 20 kgs. LD03 is my plant and storage location LD03. Valuation price is dummy price. Storage location LD03. Let me save this. This is my purchase requisition. PRS four double zero double zero double zero three four nine. It's my purchase requisition. Based on this, I'm going to create a purchase order. Where would I create slash in ME twenty one yet? Document overview on. This is my purchase requisition. This is my purchase requisition. Select here, adapt. Adapt. Enter supplier. I just wanted to select this. I'm going to select the supplier from based on the based on the purchase. LD01 is my LD01 is my purchase of which. Nine double zero double one eight. This is my purchase organization. Purchase organization nine double zero double one eight is my supplier. Purchase organization LD zero one is my purchase. Purchasing group selected. And I have to give the net price for this. Per kg, it is two thousand five hundred rupees. Nitrate thousand five hundred rupees. Floxin and sodium chloride is three thousand five hundred rupees. Press enter and let me save this. This is my purchase order. I've created purchase order. Let me take this purchase order. Let me take this purchase order. And let me do goods result. Go to slash and MIG. MIG. We go. Go to before that. Let me do MMB. Let me check inventory in the MMB transaction. MMB transaction code. Execute 60612. Only 20. 20 kgs, one order. 611. New selection. On order stock, 15 kgs. 610, 60610, 10 kgs. That means 10 kgs. See here, on order. Purchase order. I have created a purchase order. Now I'm going to do goods receipt. And again, I'm going to check the inventory. Goods receipt, purchase order. Go check. This is my purchase order. Press enter. See, all the three has come nitrate, floxin, and chlor sodium chloride. Click on to the to non-order item. Click on to non-order item. Item OK. Item OK. Scroll up. Here. This is also item OK. And post. Okay. Now check the inventory would have been updated. In inventory would have been updated. 10 quantities. Refresh this. Unrestricted 10. Let's come 11. Let's go to 11. 15 kgs. Unrestricted 12. 20 kgs. Unrestricted 20 kgs. Unrestricted. Okay. Winter has sent the material and I have done the MIGO that is goods reserve and placed it in the storage location and I have, I have checked the inventory. This is what the MIGO means, goods receipt means. Now, vendor has given the invoice, I'm going to post it in SAP system. Go to MIR, transaction code, MIR, MIR, transaction code, MIR. GB10 is my company code. Invoice date, calculate tax, enter, purchase order number, it's my purchase order number. 
let's select the purchase order number or let's come back go to migo and i'll take it from there go to slash and mig let's not waste time in searching the this is my purchase order go to slash and mir invoice date calculate tax enter purchase order number two see here all the three has come now this amount i have to post it here paste it here one four one triple zero one four one triple zero it's been red now it will be in green press enter enter baseline date upon which we have to pay the vendor vendor payable now save it now let's go to display and check me 23 me 23 and purchase order display and let let me check the purchase order display purchase order purchase order other purchase order enter my purchase order number press enter go to item detail item detail go to purchase order history see here goods reserved has been done with the material document this is the material document by double zero triple zero three two seven nine click on to this it will take you to the material document that is migo display migo document okay come back and if you want to see the i have done the inventory the, i have done the invoice and this is the invoice number click on to this invoice number it takes you to the mir transaction for display see here so this is how Metal has been procured in pharma industry. Thank you.